Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can import this model from the SolidWorks to the Blender. So let me show you the steps. You can quickly go to Save As, and I'm going to save this as Step. Okay, let me just pick a name and save. Now the second step here is downloading the my software, and then I can go to File Import and get my exported port let me just select the step and get my file okay just wait a little bit until it finished loading now as you can see here my part is now loaded on the moist software so i can just easily go to the export or save here and save as obj so this is the best format you can use to the blender now let me just type any name here. And now I have here this slider, it's controlling how much quality you need. The more you just increase, the more quality you get. Okay, so I'm maybe just gonna select app five, five is good, and gonna give me high quality, and press okay. Okay, now it's just finished. Let me just go to the blender and continue. From here, I'm gonna go to the file, import, and RPJ. Let me select my file. And click on board. I'm going to just scroll down with the mouse. You're going to see the model is very big here. So I'm just going to press the S key to scale it down and... Okay, maybe we're just going to maybe zoom a little. And you have... The model is totally amazing on the Blender now. So the details, as you've seen, everything looks great. Let me use another material here. I'm gonna go here to shading, matte cap. So as you've seen, every, everything looks good. So that's how you can just import from the SolidWorks to the Blender. However, here you have another solution is importing directly the step file to the Blender, but you have to install a plugin in order to do that. So I'm gonna just hit import and I got the step file directly from here. And you just select the step file. Let's call it step five. And you have these parameters here. So I'm going to make the linear deflection 2 and angular about maybe 0.23 and click on board step. Okay, as you see here, the port imported directly as a step, but I have some uh, bad surface or something like that because of the angle. So I need to increase the angle. Let me go to this menu and import. I'm gonna just decrease the linear deflection a little and angular maybe the 0 0.1 and rebuild selected. It's gonna take some time, but it's gonna be better. Okay, it's taking about 15 minutes to regenerate the file with these parameters, which is, you can see now the difference, it's more smoother now, and looks better than before. So, I can go to the tab, and you can see it's 
converting it to a triangles in order to generate it on the blender as you see here just using triangles but I still have the boundaries of my bike okay so that's it for today next video is going to be about how to add materials and how to make a cool render image